one out of ten will have dementia in their 60s and playing football or soccer increases risk of dementia by 46 percent now let's understand what is dementia and what is most common forms of dementia and most important types of dementia most important characteristic of dementia is cognitive decline so dementia is general name and it means cognitive decline and cognitive decline can be manifest as different symptoms and most important most important disease which is part of dementia is alzheimer's disease alzheimer's disease is around 80 percent of dementia cases so if anyone says it's dementia 80 percent of probability it's alzheimer's disease alzheimer's disease characteristic of this disease is um, deposition of proteins uh, in neurons and around neur neurons and around neurons uh, amyloid plaques are deposits its um, proteins and inside neurons also tau proteins are deposit and these proteins these proteins inside and outside uh, of neurons disrupts neuronal normal function and eventually causes of death of these cells that's why it is called neurodegeneration most common symptom of alzheimer's disease is memory loss difficulty languages confusion but most most important is memory loss parkinson's disease parkinson's disease is also very important and characteristic uh, disease which is which is called uh, deposition also proteins uh, uh, which is called levy bodies this uh, this brown this brown uh, inside neuron is levy body which also disrupts and damages dopamine producing ne neurons uh, in substantia nigra and it causes um, it, it causes motor deficiency uh, and tremors rigidity and impaired balance are most common symptoms so memory loss it's dementia and it's alzheimer's disease tremors rigidity and impaired balance it's parkinson's disease and uh, let's uh, say about huntington's disease huntington's disease is rarest among them if person has 10 percent lifetime risk of alzheimer's disease um, person has one percent risk of parkinson's disease and uh, in such cases person has 0.01 percent of uh, risk of parkinson's uh, huntington's disease so huntington's disease is rarest huntington's disease are genetic huntington's disease are uh, genetic genetically autosomal dominant disease it means this genetic heritage of huntington disease means that if parent has huntington disease uh, it's his or her kids have 50 percent of chance that they also will have huntington's disease it's important and what is mechanism here mechanism here is also here is proteins and these proteins clump together and they disrupt normal processes in the cells and it causes neurodegeneration also and um, what is hallmark of Huntington disease what is most important symptoms is involuntary movements involuntary movements and cognitive decline over time so Alzheimer disease is memory loss Parkinson's disease is tremor Huntington, Huntington's disease is involuntary movements and cognitive loss. Eventually, any of these disease characteri characterized uh, cognitive loss over time, of course. But 
most important cognitive loss is here Huntington's disease of course we will have uh, cognitive loss in case of Alzheimer's disease and in case of Parkinson's disease but major symptom here in case of Alzheimer's disease is memory loss major symptom uh, in case of Parkinson's disease is tremors and major symptom in Huntington's disease is involuntary movements and now what happens what ha what's happening and why professional sport and professional um, uh, soccer players have higher risk of dementia and 62 percent higher risk of Alzheimer's disease why why this happen because uh, it is thought that main cause of this risk is heading and uh, pl so playing with head it it's like constant uh, head traumas especially in childhood that's why there is some recommendations according them heading is not record recommended in children um, less than 12 years old and here is the interesting fact also that Parkinson's disease risk was decreased among foot uh, football professional players so Alzheimer's disease I I risk is increased uh, and were increased very importantly 62 percent but uh, Parkinson's disease risk was decreased of course uh, it's uh, it's uh, not importantly effects of Huntington's disease thank you very much if you like my videos please thumbs up and subscribe my channel thank you for your interest bye for now